Okay, I got something I want you to see. Agree, disagree, whatever. Listen. We like surprises, don't we? Yep. Yes, we yes. do like surprises. Well, guess what? In a surprise announcement, NASA revealed a new name for its moon program, Artemis. Like that's going to help. She is a Greek goddess of the moon and twin sister of Apollo. Well, NASA... <laughs> Pagan worship, guys. Pagan worship, that's all it is. Pick the name in hopes of having the first woman land on the moon by 2024. Make it political. And now, in order to meet that deadline, the Trump administration wants Congress to approve an additional one. There, let me move this thing over here. 21 billion plus 1.6 billion. Yeah, what could you do with that money? Uh, not go to the moon. $1.6 billion for NASA on top of its $21 billion budget for next year. Mark Strassman spoke with a man who's responsible for making the moonshot happen. Mark, good morning. Good morning. NASA's mission pocked by fits and starts for decades. Uh, did it start? Yeah, yeah, who knows? Now has a new name and a new urgency. The Artemis program intends to land astronauts on the south pole of the moon in five years, four years earlier than originally planned. It's ambitious, it will be expensive, <laughs> and NASA needs commercial and congressional support to pull it off. So if they don't get it, they don't get to go. And they can blame Congress. The eagle has landed. What? Here's the emotional part. Okay, we're gonna be busy for a minute. 50 years ago this July. You can see through the astronaut. Two Americans left the first footprints in lunar dust. No other country has matched Apollo's moonwalkers. I wonder why. I'll leave that alone. But five have sent probes and robots, including Israel and CGI. China, just this year. CGI. It's not by accident CGI. that so many countries around the world right now are going to the moon. And not all of them are going to the moon just to collect rocks. Um, it's a strategic imperative that the United States have a presence there as well. There's fair factor. When Jim Bridenstine became NASA's administrator last year, a planned moon landing was a decade away. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just not good enough. But in March, Vice President Mike Pence lit a fire under NASA and its contractors. If NASA is not currently capable of landing American astronauts on the moon in five years, we need to change the organization, not the mission. We've seen over. Mm. Yeah. And over again, the administrations change and projects get canceled with billions of dollars wasted of the taxpayer. We're going to billions of dollars wasted to the taxpayer. And I would add that's per year. In other words, their budget. Shorten the time scale. We're going to make this a reality. That starts by accelerating development of NASA's new mega CGI. rocket called CGI. the Space Launch CGI. System CGI. or SLS. On top would sit NASA's new crew Real. capsule called Orion. Roughly 240,000 miles from Earth, CGI. Orion eventually would dock with a planned CGI. lunar orbiting space station called Gateway. Lunar <laughs> orbiting space station called Gateway, which does not exist. But the Artemis program lacks one key component. Well, what's yes, the most significant piece of the budget increase? Here's the good the part. landing capability. Like lunar landers are difficult to build. They take time. They take money. Uh, and we don't have that capability. Not what? Let's say this is NASA administrator. Uh, let's play that again. They take time. They take money. Uh, and we don't have that capability. Not yet. <laughs> but private industry wants that contract. This is Blue Moon. Last. <sighs> if you know what the rocket represents. And you have to use your imagination there, because who knows gonna, who's going to watch this, so i got to... You know what the rocket represents. Here's two big blue balls to go with that rocket. Mm, figure that one out. Last week, billionaire Jeff Bezos introduced Blue Moon, CGI. his space company's design for a lunar lander. CGI. Lockheed Martin also has CGI. a design. Five years to get to the CGI. moon. How is that not 
fairly intense schedule pressure. If somebody says this isn't safe, ultimately they have the authority to, to throw a red flag and say stop. It is huh. more important for us so they can stop at any time. Safe. Not the lunar surface. Brian Stein, a former congressman from Oklahoma, thinks he has the votes on Capitol Hill to pass this new budget hike. Yay. We don't have that capability. Don't have the lunar space station that they're going to dock with. Do you really think they're going to build a lunar orbiting space station and the landers and everything else that goes with it? And again, you got to have a doom buggy, of course, and your golf clubs so you can play golf on the moon. Come on, guys. Really? I don't know what to tell you.